How's it going? Once again, welcome back to another show. This is You May Roscoe and I am he. And today's show, we're going to be doing a reaction to um, a comedy, a musical comedy skit. Um, this or a uh, segment rather. Um, I'm assuming that this is from, you know, uh, a comedy special that he's done. And this is just a clip from it. This one is called uh, Prejudice. So um, by Tim Minchkin. So We'll be checking this out before uh, we do that. I do want to ask for anybody who hasn't that they please subscribe to the channel. Um, I do have uh, it, it's a it's a crazy number, but it's like uh, there's like some around 90 percent of my viewing audience um, that that's watch that watches the shows like a ton of a ton of shows, a lot of shows and don't subscribe and haven't subscribed up to this point. So. Um, it's a, a crazy alarming number to me, but I mean, it is what it is. I can't go and turn anybody's arm or nothing like that, but, um, if it, it you know, it would help, <laughs> you know, if you guys would actually, the ones who haven't, that they please subscribe. Um, uh, there's no shout out for me to give. I do want to just say thank you to, um, everybody that's out there that's, that has been supportive that has um, subscribed and all that stuff and has been rocking out with me. I, I do appreciate um, everything, you know, down to the smallest thing. So um, uh, much love to you guys, but yeah, to everybody else that's just kind of on the outskirts and they're watching the shows. And then, you know, after they've been viewing for however long, you know, decide at some point way later, like, uh, you know, I'll finally subscribe. Yes. Yeah, uh, shame on you, I suppose. I don't know. But um, we're going to go ahead and get this started. Let's do this. I have no clue why that look on his face was so but, but apparently it was funny to everybody else too. But yeah, no, that, that look was kind of crazy, but that was funny. This is a song about prejudice and the language of prejudice and the power of the language of prejudice. It's called Prejudice. 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 Obvious name, I'm so I'm guessing. In our modern free spoken society, there is a word that we still hold taboo. A word with a terrible history of being used to abuse, oppress, and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will form a word. With more power than the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. A couple of G's, an R and an E, an I and an N. N, N, N. Just six little letters all jumbled together have caused damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own, it doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. So never underestimate the power that language imparts. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can break hearts. This is, it, it, it feel like it's going in a very deep direction. I mean, it already, he's already said, you know, some, some powerful stuff already, you know, um, but I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to let him keep going before I say what I have to say, but um, all right, so far, so good. A couple of G's, cheese, unless you've had to live it, an R and an E, even I am careful with it, an I and an N. Yeah. On 
me a ginger Can call another ginger ginger Only a ginger Can call another ginger ginger so he, he went in and he <laughs> Okay, to totally not the word that, that, that I had in <laughs> You know, but uh, I, I'm like it. I'm like that. How he is uh, subverted right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was dope. That was dope. Yeah, let me push that back a little bit. Ginger instead of. <laughs> oh my god, that was that, that that I loved how he totally went. You know, well left. You know, <laughs> with that one, but that was dope. Yeah. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. So listen to me if you care for your health. You won't call me ginger unless you're ginger yourself. Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. A ginger life is pretty hard Years of ritual bullying in the schoolyard the Kids call in your anger and fan of pants No invitation to the high school dance But you get up and learn to hold your head up You try to keep your cool and not get head up But until the feeling of ill is truly let up Then the word is ours and ours alone Don't you know that only a ginger Can call another ginger ginger Yep only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. So if you call us ginger, we just might come unhinged. If you don't have a fringe with at least a tinge of the ginger in it, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Now listen to me when I'm looking for sympathy, just because we're sensitive to UV, just because we're pathetically pale. We do all right with the females. Yeah, I like to ask the ladies. Right I, to, oh, I gotta stop this. Uh, I'm gonna push it back just a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, he, he he went in a total different direction than um, what was expected. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, until now, we never thought about the fact that ginger and nigger <laughs> it, it's the same set of letters. You know what I mean? Just, but um. Uh, uh, one thing that this has me thinking about, though, is like, um, you know, uh, you know, for, for black people who use because, well, we don't we wouldn't say we wouldn't say the word with the ER on the end more times than not. But um, but it'll be, you know, with the N-I-G-G-A, you know, spelled out like that. And um, it's something that we that we do use as a term of endearment generally. You know, and um, and uh, even for me, when I think about the real word with the ER, you know, like me, this is just me. I don't think of black people as the, as the only people who are susceptible to being that word, you know, with the ER at the end. Like I've never been in a because you know, a court. I don't know what's it, what it, what is listed as in the dictionary now because I know that. People like to change the words and they want to reinvent, you know, and do all that stuff. And, uh, but, but, um, yeah, no, there was a, a one time in the, in the, if it's still the same, that it just meant that you were ignorant, you know? And, and so, like, with that definition, I was like, well, any race could be that then, you know? And, 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 I, and I still had that mindset. That in, uh, probably a lot of other black people too, who we've encountered, you know, white people and called them that, you know, as a term of endearment, you know, uh, very few times not to be a term of endearment, but yeah, no, um, this just had me thinking about that when he was saying like, you know, only gingers can call gingers gingers, you know, and uh, apparently he's one, he's speaking from personal experience because he is one, so <laughs> he's a ginger, you know, but um. Uh, but yeah, no, that that is that, that, that was very smart. I like how you switched this up, you know, but um let's keep this going. Uh, 
So if you call us ginge, we just might come unhinged If you don't have a fringe with at least a tinge of the ginge in it Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger Now listen to me, we're not looking for sympathy Just because we're sensitive to UV Just cause we're pathetically pale We do alright with the females Yeah, I like to ask the ladies round for ginger beer and soon they're running their fingers through my ginger beard And dunking my ginger nuts into their ginger tea, yeah And asking can they call me ginger And I say I don't think that's appropriate Cause only a ginger can call another ginger ginger yeah. And all the ladies they agree it's a fact Once you're gone ginger you can't go back Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger Yeah go ginger that is a, that that's pretty funny. <laughs> Given the context, you know what I mean. Uh, again, but then I, there's a little bit of this I don't like because um, uh, it is it's almost as if he's uh, he's it's assumed that only black people could be niggas, you know, like like ah, uh, you know that that's the only that's the stickler right there for me. But everything else, I'm 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 with so. Go, you funky motherfucking gin. Yeah, you can call us bozo or fire truck. Fire truck, fire truck. You can even call us carrot top or blood nut. Blood nut, blood nut. Yeah, you can call us matchstick or tampon. Tampon. Never heard tampon before, or you know, maybe matchstick, maybe once or twice or something like that. Who knows? But tampon, okay, for ginge, okay. Oh, I shouldn't say ginge because I don't have a tinge of the ginge, <laughs> except for in my hat. <laughs> But fucking with the G word is just not on. If you're a gingerphobe and you don't like us, we will stand up to the fight if you want to fight us. But if you cut yourself, you might catch gingivitis. So maybe you should shut your funky mouth. Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Call a ginger, you can't whinge if you're injured If you don't have a tinge of the ginger in your minge Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger yeah. And you know my kids will always be clothed and fed Cause Papa's gonna be bringing home the gingerbread Gingerbread, Push it back, let's get it You know my kids will always be clothed and fed Cause Papa's gonna be bringing home the gingerbread and they'll be pretty smart because they'll be well read And by red I mean red and the other kind of red It's a homophone and only a ginger can call an eye ginger ginger That was a good one. Yeah, uh, Matt, Matt. Okay, okay. And uh, that, ladies and gents, was "Prejudice" by Tim Minchin, and um, I, I, I really like that. I like that one. You know, uh, Doctor Cap, if you're watching, um, I, I, I finally found one that I enjoy. <laughs> like I, was, I sincerely enjoyed this one. Um, uh, I love how he turned. You know. Um, my expectation on its ear you know when i when, when he first started out the song and when he uh kind of threw out the letters you know before he got knee deep and and before he uh finally exposed that he was talking about gingers instead of what i was thinking but um i love how he turned it on his ear man like 
you um the whole expectation like i said but this was this was well done this was well done well crafted and um and you know the whole double entendre if you if you will uh you know uh the plight of the gingers and how you could kind of uh, on some level you could switch that out for you know those um in i guess you know uh, the black community uh but like i said that one little sticker for me is it, it, it it's almost kind of inferred that only only you know blacks can be you know you know niggas and i i don't I don't think that's the case. I, I, you know, just going by the old definition, maybe in current times they've switched it up to well, yeah, only y'all could be, but still, that's like, who is that fair to? <laughs> you know, is is it's kind of like the whole critical race theory thing for me, you know, and how um, instead of accepting history for for what it was, you know, trying to revamp and uh, rewrite it into something that's more palatable. For those who um, who uh, they're attached to, you know, their ancestry, you know what I mean, kind of leads back to, you know, their their some of their great great greats being um, a part of some of these atrocities. But um, yeah, no, this was this was great. This was excellent. I love this. I love this, and um, uh, I'm glad that finally, because you know, the the first one or two that I that I've done with him, you know, I was trying to, trying to get it, you know, and um, now, uh, you know, with this, I'm like, okay, this is, I see, I see what, what he does with his comedy now, because uh, uh, I know that one of them, it seemed like it was, like, I'd have to be a part of the Australian culture and political landscape to be able to understand more of where that, that was coming from, but this this is a little more straightforward for me, you know, and, and a little more uh, it has a global kind of um, appeal and message to it, if you will. But um, great job. Great job. That's all I can say. Prejudices did did its thing. So uh, uh, I'm going to get going before I do that. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option. You'll pick the one named Comedy Reactions. That's where you'll, you'll find this particular video. Um, I do have playlists for other artists as well, so please check out all that stuff. Uh, the Cash App is on the screen, dollar sign, you made Roscoe, PayPal, at you made Roscoe. For those who like to show their support or appreciation for the work being done, there's that. And um, that's about it. Uh, the sirens are even coming right now, so you know we got to end it. So um, with that said, I will see you guys again very, very soon. So until we meet again, you guys be safe and be good.